This is our tool called Filter Builder, and it'll change your approach to trading forever. So what Filter Builder does is it lets you define the types of stocks that you're looking for based on your choice of price, volume, or technical variables. And it then delivers those exact stocks to you continuously all day long in streaming real time. Let me show you what I mean. The first thing we want to do is select the markets for the stocks we want to find. Select Markets tab up top, and we'll choose NASDAQ. Next, we want to create our filter, or our scan. It's a really easy three-step process. First, you choose a primary analytic, then you choose the operator, and lastly, you choose a comparative analytic. Really, really easy. So, first we'll choose our primary analytic. It can be a price variable, a liquidity variable, which means volume related, or it can be a technical analysis variable. We'll choose a price variable and we'll go with last. Now we'll choose our operator and we'll say greater than. Finally, we'll choose the third component, which is the comparative analytic. The comparative analytic can either be a value, which defines the primary analytic, or it can be an analytic in itself, which is compared to the primary analytic. In this case, we'll choose a value of 10. So this means that our primary analytic, which is last price, is greater than 10, meaning $10. The last thing we need to do is finalize the first rule of our filter by clicking Add to Filter here. And voila, the first rule as you see in your filter has been created. So with this rule, you'll now be scanning the entire NASDAQ market for all stocks that are trading at a price of $5, I'm sorry, $10 and above. To see our results, we go down here and click on Run Filter. And there you go. Here are the results, all real time and 100% dynamic. Our lightning fast technology just went through tens of thousands of stocks in less than one second. And as we see here, there's quite a few results. Let's add another quick rule to our filter to tighten it up and get less results. Once again, we go to our primary analytic and we'll add last price. This time, however, our operator will be less than. And last, we'll put 20 as the value for our comparative analytic. We click on Add to Filter. So now we have a floor to our filter, which is $10, and we also have a ceiling of $20. So this scan, in essence, will return all stocks on the NASDAQ that are trading between $10 and $20. We hit Run Filter, and we see we have a lot less results because we eliminated all stocks that are trading above $20. Now, we see that a lot of these stocks here have zero share volume. That means that they haven't traded today. And really, we're not interested in those stocks. So the last rule we're going to add to this simple filter is a volume rule. We go back to our primary analytic and select liquidity variable. We then select trades and today's trades. Our operator will be greater than and our value will be five. So the stock will have to have a minimum five trades on the day, in addition to the last price rules that we've already created. Five trades isn't that much, but at least it has had activity. It's alive for the day, and it'll eliminate all stocks that haven't traded at all. Just click Add to Filter, and there we go. It's been added. Now we'll go and fetch our results. And as we can see, we have a much tighter set of results than earlier. The more rules you add to a filter, the more specific you're making it, and the less results you'll receive. So now that we're satisfied with this filter, and we want to run it possibly, and most probably, over and over again in the future, it's time to save it. So to do that, we go down here and we click on Save Filter. We then name our filter. We'll name this one $10 to $20 and click Save. And that's it. Now we can find that filter up top in the My Saved Filters drop-down menu. We just select it anytime we want 
and click Run Filter Results. And there we go. We can create instant results for that particular filter on demand anytime we need. This example we just went through created the most basic filter possible, just to give you a simple understanding of what can be done with this powerful tool. You can choose to create much more complex filters that have multiple rules, but no matter how complex you choose to make them, it'll always be as simple as this to set up. One, two, three. To learn more about how to use Filter Builder to build extremely profitable filters and unleash its tremendous power, go to our video section and see the more advanced Filter Builder tutorial.